on the 21st of March of 1921, a squad of auxiliaries, G Division, based in the Lakeside Hotel in Killaloo, were conducting a search of the area between Tumivar and Borussia Across uh, the tender, under the command of Lieutenant Henry Splat, and driven by Sergeant David Hossack, two auxiliaries, were was right in flank on that patrol, and they passed the roadway from Nocturne to Garden Brayana. That would take them ultimately to Summer Hill and onto Borussia As they passed Garden Grayana, uh, Splat's ordered the tent to stop and he noted two youths drawing water from a well. Splat's testimony at the subsequent court of military inquiry was that he called on the youths to come forward and when they did not do so he fired his revolver in the air two or three times to attract their attention. He then testified that the youths ran away. He said then that he ordered the loose gun to be turned on them. And he further said that when he ordered the tender in which they were travelling to come alongside the, 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 the young man, he noted that one of the youths was dead. David Hossack gave a very brief statement of four words also to the Court of Military Inquiry. And that just basically stated was, I collaborate the above. The young man, Dan and Ryan, that was with Martin, the 16-year-old Martin Burke that day, had this to say to the inquiry. He said, on the 21st of March, 1921, I was on my way to school when I stopped to help Martin Burke fill his water cart. We were coming away from the well when I heard some shots ring out and Martin Burke fell at my side and I saw that he had been hit in the head. At that period of war of independence, human life as a currency had almost become worthless. And it would be fair to say, and true to say, that Martin Burke was shot for no other reason than the personal amusement of uh, Sergeant David Hossack and uh, Lieutenant uh, Henry Splatt. Uh, Martin Burke was buried two days after in the family plot at Eileen Graveyard. Uh, because of the, the, the warm weather of the time, uh, his body was not uh, kept for an inquest. So there was no big funeral or shots fired over the grave of Martin Burke because he wasn't a member of any organisation. He was non-political. He came from non-political family and his killing at the time was just one of these instances that the war of independence had escalated into outrage followed by reprisal. Martin Burke was buried, he was forgotten about and it's just that was handed down from our forefathers and the people who were there at the time and who knew about these incidents that we know what happened that day and where Martin Burke fell. So, our aim is to, again, remember Martin Burke. As, as, one, as Martin Burke represents uh, one of those, many of those, who died, who were peripheral to the whole conflict of what no one knows, the War of Independence. Um, died for no reason, shot out of hand by, in this case, by Crown forces. So, our plan is to erect a little plaque at the style on the bridge where Martin Burke fell that day in the hail of gunshot from a, a loose submachine gun. And to do that, we're organising a, a tour to the War of Independence places in West Tipperary in East Limerick. So, what we will do on that day, we will visit many of the places that are well known through the history books that are well documented in the songs, the recitations and the stories. Places like Solihead Beg where the War of Independence began, Knock Long Railway Station, the scene of the famous rescue of Sean Hogan on the 13th of May 1919. We go to Denohill, 
uh, the burial and birth place of Dan Brian, and also where Paddy Dalton was killed during the Civil War. Sean Tracy's graveyard in Kilfiegel, we'll visit that, and we'll visit St. Michael's Cemetery in Tipperary. There's many of the major incidents of that time happened within a 30 mile radius of Tipperary Town. And on that day, we can take you to those places, tell you the story of what happened, and we can also tell you stories. So, some of the lesser known stories that are of major interest and certainly have a major uh, bearing on, on the, um, the, the, the outcome of the War of Independence at that time. Uh, for instance, the story of Morris Mead, the drunkie in ambush, because uh, the, the story of the killing, killing of Willie Slattery of Lissa by Hand, the story of um, the killing of Lacey in the Glen of Aherlow, and what happened that day. And several more of these that we have come to know down through the years, and we will relate them to you. So, what proceeds we <coughs> occurred from that day, uh, we will use this to go to finance the placing of a plaque on the, the spot where Martin Burke, the 16 year old youth, died on the 21st of March 1921. So we look forward to uh, having a good crowd as that day and uh, to, to remember one man, one man amongst many young men who history has forgotten.